guys, so I'm about to do some fasted cardio, and I'm just gonna ride my spin bike. Um, Toby is wanting to say hello. Hello, Toby. Um, but I'm gonna do some fasted cardio, probably for about 30 to 40 minutes today, and I'm gonna get my workout in later, which I'm gonna show you, and then I'm gonna kind of show you what I'm eating a little bit, and kind of just do a normal vlog, which I haven't done for you guys in so long, so I'm excited. Let's go. Baby, we were born with fire and gold in So this is the little cardio outfit I've got on. Just my sports bra, some shorts, and my Soul Cycle tank. So yeah, just a little, you know, good lighting here. <laughs> it's like the sun comes in from this angle, so it's good. So yeah, let's do it. Hey guys, so I just got done fasted cardio and a shower, so I'm all clean now. But when it comes to fasted cardio, I've gotten a lot of questions about it. And you really only want to do it, and you're only going to really benefit from fasted cardio if you're below 18% body fat. You can burn muscle if you're above that, but if you do want to do it, you can still do it, but you want to make sure that you follow a couple main rules. So the first one is to drink aminos while you're doing fasted cardio. I drank all of these, and then I filled them back up with some more. And that's going to prevent muscle breakdown. Aminos are really good for recovery and helping your body burn fat instead of muscle. So I always drink aminos when I'm doing fasted cardio. And the other thing is don't you don't want to lift right after your fasted cardio. You want to eat. It's essential that you eat right after cardio. So I'm going to have protein pancakes. I showered um, just to kind of let my body cool down a little bit and then it's first thing that you do is eat before I put my makeup on or do my hair I've got to eat so when I make protein pancakes I make them in massive batches because Tim loves to eat them cold and I love to eat them warm so here they are and I'm just gonna take probably three of these I do the Kodiak cakes and I do just mix them with water and then I put chocolate chips in there too this one is really stuck we lost a little of it. Okay, so here's my pancakes. So I'm gonna just pop them in the microwave for probably about 30 seconds. Food is so important right after fasted cardio because your body can continue to break down muscle because you're still after burning, but you have no no food to use as fuel, fuel and to replace the glycogen. So you wanna make sure that you eat. I love having protein and carb after fasted cardio. It's kind of what you wanna have. Um, a little bit of each of those after workouts, like something a little higher in carb, and then protein as well um, to help build up your muscle fibers is going to be really good. I eat mine with Cool Whip. They're chocolate chip pancakes, and I totally can't help myself. I like have to have them with Cool Whip. So what I usually do, except I don't like to put the Cool Whip like right on the pancakes. So here is what I do. You guys, I feel like have seen me do this a million times, but I'm going to show you one more time. Sorry my camera's not focusing. I have no idea what. What's your problem, camera? Hmm? What is your problem? Okay, so I just like to move them over because I don't like the Cool Whip to melt. That like really bugs me. I'm like so OCD about just like a few weird things. And I'm gonna go eat these. It's gonna be delicious. Oh hey there Toby. Ooh, it's time to eat. Do some work. Hey guys, so this is my top five booty moves for you. I'm really excited about this video. And a huge thanks to my amazing assistant, Elena, who filmed this for you guys. We're going to be filming a lot more for you. So we'll get some really good outdoor workouts, some good fall workouts, um, some top five workouts. I kind of wanted to start this series because I thought it would be fun to do like a top five of uh, different moves for different body parts. And so today we're starting with our top five booty moves. And the first one is a goblet squat. So you want to take a weight or you can do it without a weight if you're more comfortable that way but I'm using a 10 pound weight you can take something as low as 5 10 20 whatever you um, will be challenged with and you want to point your toes outward she's gonna zoom in on my feet here so you want to point your toes outward a little bit and keep your feet hip distance apart a little bit wider even and then you want to go down about as far as you can and then come back up and that is one repetition and I did about 20 reps of everything on each side then we're gonna move on to 
Um, number two, and this exercise is a Bulgarian split squat. I love this move. These suck so hard, you guys. They hurt so bad, and you want to go really low to activate that glute and that hamstring, and everything will be burning, I promise you, at least five reps in. So when you go low, about still your leg is parallel to the ground, your um, left thigh is parallel to the ground, um, you don't want your knee to come over your toe, and you want to keep your toe up on a bench or a chair or a stepper or whatever you're using for this move. That way you're really activating everything. When you go that low is when you activate the glute fully and the hamstring fully, which is what we're trying to do with this move. Then we're going to move on to step ups. You guys know these are so awesome. You can do these pump step up version like I'm doing them here. So I'm kind of doing them a little bit faster or you can do them a little bit slower with a weight in each hand or a barbell on your back. But we're doing this in the park so we don't have weights really. We only wanted to bring minimal equipment, so we have a mat and one dumbbell for a couple things, but all of these moves can be done without weight, and all of these moves can be done with weight. It's whatever you guys want to do, whether you're at the gym, whether you're outside. Elena and I were talking, and we thought it was really a good idea if you take your kids to the park a lot to play with other kids. This is such a great thing that you can do at the park with no equipment. You don't even need a mat. You could use um, a chair or a stepper like this um, on a bench or a picnic table or whatever you have access to. Really, it's super easy to do this workout anywhere. So I love it, and these step-ups are super good for your glute muscles. They're really going to activate that glute and that hamstring and give you that lifted, toned, firm backside that we all want and that we're all working toward. Am I right? So I did about 20 on each side, and you just want to make sure that you have a really solid surface so that you're not, like, slipping or anything like that donkey kicks you guys these are no, these are so good without a weight but I will tell you I never do them weighted ever I do a lot of kickbacks these are no friggin joke because you have to squeeze that weight in between your knee and your hamstring your calf and your hamstring and so that automatically activates that hamstring muscle and then my butt this was the fourth exercise right so my butt is like on fire it was burning so good I absolutely love these I want to do start doing these like every single day they're really Really, really good for the round booty and to keep it lifted and it's really good at activating your hamstring and your glute you just want to go slowly make sure that you don't hurt yourself of course you can do these without weight but weighted is definitely a little bit more challenging and it's nice because I feel like when we don't do them weighted we can do kind of like 50 or 100 reps right because you can do a lot of reps when you're not using weight but when you even put like a three or a five pound dumbbell in there it forces you to squeeze that so it activates your hamstring and your calf and then the donkey kick activates your glute muscle. So I absolutely love this. These are really, really, really good. And I would recommend doing them even just while you're watching TV, you guys. If you're just like have 30 seconds on commercial, just grab the weight, do one side on the next commercial, grab the weight, do the other side, and you will definitely see results from this. This is a really, really great booty move that I have started incorporating into my routine, especially when I don't want to go to the gym or don't have time to get to the gym and want to get an at-home workout in. This is great. It's like a glute kickback on a cable machine. Um, and I absolutely love it. And kind of like a hamstring curl too. This is also really going to activate that hamstring and glute muscle. These are kind of like hip thrusters, but they're a little bit different because we're doing single leg hip thrusters and we're doing them on an elevated park bench. You can also do them on a chair or a couch, but the elevation really forces you to kind of push through and gives you a little bit more of a challenge than if your foot was just on the floor. It's just like when I've showed you guys this on a stability ball or a bench at the gym. I'm just using a park bench and my my um, right foot being elevated while my left foot is straight up in the air forces your glute muscle and your hamstring to work a little bit harder than if your foot is like resting and keeping you solid on the ground. And you're also activating your core to help stabilize you so that you're not kind of wobbling around and you're really concise and precise with this movement. I love it. I think I did 15 reps on each side. Um, you're seeing most of the reps here, but some of them are a little shorter just so that the footage didn't get crazy long for you guys so you weren't seeing the same move for like five minutes. Um, but yeah, this is a really, really good one, and this was a great one to do last. It totally burned me out. And then I just wanted to show you a few stretches. So just pull your knees into your chest, then bring your knee to one side, and then take it to the other side. It's a really, really nice stretch for your back, your core, and your leg. And you can even pull that knee into your chest a little bit more. Um, it kind of stretches everything out. It's a good um, hip flexor stretch as well. So I really like that one. And then I love this one for my thighs and my hamstrings. I feel like it stretches it out really good. So just both legs out in front of you and just try to grab your toes or and bend forward as best you can 
your flexibility will definitely improve over time if you keep stretching. And then I'm just kind of putting one leg over the other and twisting the opposite direction on both sides. I was laughing because Elena was saying something funny. <laughs> Plus, I was really tired and really sweaty after this. Um, then I'm just hugging my knee into my chest. This is a really great hip stretch, like outer hip flexor stretch. I love it. And then the butterfly stretch, great hip opener. Um, absolutely love it. And that's the end of today's vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Bye.